The district attorney's office in Fulton should not only strive for excellence, but it should also set the standard for the entire Southeast region. It should be a shining example of professionalism, integrity, and efficiency. Unfortunately, the current state of affairs paints a different picture, one of dysfunction and corruption. This is not what the people of Fulton deserve. The district attorney's office in Fulton should be the beacon of the Southeast. It should be the absolute best office between Washington, D.C. and Miami. And right now what you have is a office, of, office of dysfunction and corruption, and we deserve better and I am the right choice to improve it. You have a DA sitting there that doesn't have the qualifications and the experience to do the job. What I can guarantee you is with my reputation, with my community ties, I am going to be able to attract the best and the brightest minds to that office. You're sitting with someone today that actually wants to make a difference because they deserve a DA that won't have sex with his employees, because they deserve a DA that won't put money in their own pocket when it should go to benefit children because we deserve better. And then this. This has never happened in our country before. And the local DAs are part of it and the attorney generals are all a part of it. You saw what happened in Atlanta with Fani. Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade were dating before she was sworn in back in 2021. They interviewed her before. I would never have an affair with anybody in my office. Well, she had an affair. <laughs> and they paid the guy almost a million dollars. Recent reports suggest that Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade may have been romantically involved before Willis's inauguration in 2021. Despite lacking confirmation, these allegations have stirred controversy and heightened apprehensions regarding potential conflicts of interest in the legal system. If substantiated, this purported relationship would severely jeopardize the integrity and equitability of legal proceedings under the oversight of both individuals. District attorneys are entrusted with upholding justice and ensuring impartial trials, and the existence of a personal bond between prosecutors could severely compromise objectivity and fairness. Detractors contend that such a relationship could breed favoritism, prejudice, or manipulation within legal proceedings, thus undermining public confidence in the legal apparatus. Citizens anticipate prosecutors to conduct themselves with professionalism and devoid of personal biases. The timing of this alleged relationship is particularly troublesome, occurring as it did before Willis's inauguration. This raises suspicions about Wade's potential sway over Willis's campaign or the appointment of her special prosecutor. Should Wade have played any role in cases overseen by Willis or influenced her prosecutorial judgments, it would undoubtedly constitute a conflict of interest. Willis and Wade are duty-bound to address these allegations forthrightly and elucidate on their relationship, if any. They must provide assurance to the public that their personal affiliation did not compromise the integrity of their work or the fairness of any legal proceedings. Ultimately, if corroborated, the purported romantic liaison between Willis and Wade casts a dark shadow over impartiality and fairness in the legal system. Thank you for joining us on SOVIC Reactions and Reviews. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Remember, the conversation doesn't end here. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's continue exploring the wonders of entertainment and politics together. Until next time, Stay tuned, stay curious, keep the popcorn popping, and keep your eyes peeled.